As a website designer, I get asked all the time about email marketing platforms and which ones I recommend. So in this video, I'm going to go over Squarespace, MailChimp, and ConvertKit, give you my pros and cons of each to hopefully help you make a decision on which platform would be best for you. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I share Squarespace and online marketing advice and tutorials here on YouTube. So if that sounds helpful, definitely subscribe to my channel for more. But for now, let's get into it first with Squarespace. So I recently tried out the Squarespace email marketing system, platform, whatever you want to call it, because... Well, I've designed over like a hundred, more than a hundred Squarespace websites at this point. I personally have three Squarespace websites of my own. So my thought was it would be so much easier if I could just have my website and my email list in one place. It would be very on brand for me as a Squarespace designer to have a Squarespace email list. So my pros in trying this out were that it is built into your website. Pro number one, it's nice to have everything in one place rather than have all sorts of different things you have to log into and manage. So pro number one is that if you have a Squarespace website, having a Squarespace email, it's built into your website, it's nice. All you have to do when you're logged into your website is click on marketing and email campaigns. And here you are, you can manage your um, mailing list, your drafts, your scheduled emails, go check out the analytics of emails that you've sent. Um, it's super easy all in one place. My next pro is that it is easy to add a sign up form on any page of your website. Again, it is built into your website. So all you have to do is just click and add a block. Let me show you. Click and add a block, send it to your email list. So I just clicked this blue plus button here. I'm going to find the newsletter block. And then when you click on storage, you can see it's defaults to add people to the email list I've already got set up here on my Squarespace email campaigns. It's that easy. Okay, I'm gonna delete that though. <laughs> um, my third pro for Squarespace is that emails look really good and they can be on brand with your website. So anything that you create on your website you can duplicate in your email. It's the same design platform system. It makes everything look very cohesive. I really like that about that. My next pro is that it's easy to add your latest blog post to an email with just one click. So when I sit out, so let's see if I can come over here and show you, email campaigns. Let's create an email campaign. And let's see. I'm just gonna click this first one to show you. Let's use this template. And I'm gonna come in here and click this plus button just like I did on the page. So same look and feel for adding things. I'm gonna click blog, add blog post over here on the right. And as you can see, all I have to do is click on my latest blog post and there it is right in my email took what five seconds <laughs> um, you can change the layout make it look however you want but I really like that about Squarespace email marketing makes that super simple okay and my last pro let's see yes you get three free campaigns so to try it out you can send out three emails and get a feel for it if you like it before you decide to pay for it so those are my pros for Squarespace email marketing. My cons are that the back end is almost too simple. <laughs> um, if you've ever been in MailChimp or ConvertKit, you know what I mean. But when I click into here and there's just these six things here, that is a little too simple for me. I kind of want more options available to me. The other con, and this is actually what made me decide that Squarespace email marketing is not for me, at least in this current moment, is because I can't integrate it with Zapier or collect emails from anywhere else online. Um, so for example, I have courses and YouTube or Squarespace templates that I sell on Thinkific. So I like to have people who sign up for my stuff over there be automatically dumped into my email list. 
And that is not possible if you use Squarespace. So that is my big, big con for Squarespace email marketing right now is that that is not possible. Um, and then the other thing that at first I thought would be a pro, but it turned out to be a con for me when I really thought about it, is that you are charged per campaign. So I thought, for example, if I send one email a week to my list, it would have ended up being cheaper than the platform I'm currently on, which charges by subscribers. But then when I realized, oh, I would want to send out these automated emails or if I would want to send out my clients and a separate email each week, that would suddenly double the amount of emails and kick me into a different price point. I realized that charged for um, campaign was not the right route for me. Okay, that's my pros and cons for Squarespace. If you have any others as I go to add to this list for any of these platforms, definitely leave those in the comments below to um, share with me, but also for anyone else watching this video who might be considering these three platforms. Okay, MailChimp. Pros, it is a very cost-effective way to start an email list. And for this reason, I would say 90, 95% of my website clients use MailChimp because you can use it for free for up to 2,000 subscribers. And that's a pretty big deal when you're just getting started with an email list. So big pro right there, right off the bat. MailChimp is very easy, unlike Squarespace, to integrate with Squarespace, Zapier, whatever platform you're using online, there's going to be some way that you can get those email subscribers back to MailChimp. And that is a big pro in my book. Another pro is that it's a popular platform with lots of tutorials and resources to help get you started. MailChimp has been around for a while. It's a big player in the email marketing game. So there's a lot of resources out there to help you figure out how to use MailChimp and how to get started. So that is always helpful. My cons with MailChimp though, um, so I guess I should say that I started out with MailChimp myself and then I switched over to ConvertKit. So the reasons I switched over to ConvertKit were because the back end, in my opinion, was somewhat clunky. There was, unlike Squarespace, I thought there was too much going on on the back end of MailChimp. And I made this switch, I don't know, three years ago, maybe more, maybe four years ago at this point. They have made so many changes to the back end of MailChimp since I have done that. But the people that started off um, before they started making those changes, the back end of their accounts are still so clunky. Um, and I have clients complain to me all the time, like, I don't, this is just such a disorganized mess. I don't know how to fix it. Um, and it, it really is. It's just such a big disorganized mess. Um, so that's what I'll say about that. Um, they've made changes, but there's just a lot going on back there. Um, let's see. You, yes. So like you saw when I just created that Squarespace uh, email draft, it was super easy to just pull my blog post. Everything was there. You can change your fonts to be exactly what you have on your website. Super easy. But on MailChimp, you're going to have to recreate everything. Um, so it's not the same design platform. You're going to have to recreate everything. So and the amount of time it took me to add my blog post on Squarespace, you're going to have to create the image, the title block, the description block, the read more with the link. You're going to have to do that all on your own. So that's fine, but that's just the difference. And kind of going with my first uh, con and that it's somewhat clunky, they have options for multiple lists, multiple groups, which is a great way um, a lot of my clients are musicians, so they'll have like different groups or lists for people who live in different states so they can do email marketing when they go on tour the, to those states, which is great. But as things change on the back end of MailChimp a lot, those lists and groups start to get messy and kind of impossible to use because things change so often. So it's great to have multiple, multiple lists and groups, but those they kind of go out outdated pretty quickly, in my opinion. Um, so those are my pros and cons of MailChimp. Great way to get started, but when you get in, there's a lot you're going to have to figure out. And finally, my third platform for today is ConvertKit. This is the platform that I'm currently using. Um, although I did try to give Squarespace a shot, I'm going to stick with ConvertKit 
whoops, and my pros for ConvertKit are um, they have options for um, sign up forms or for standalone sign up pages, which before you come at me, I'm pretty sure MailChimp does this too, but I'm using ConvertKit. This is what I know and this is what I like about them. So I could create a form in MailChimp and embed it here in, um, in my Squarespace website, or um, I have a couple like workshops that I've done online and I've just created a page in ConvertKit. You sign up and ConvertKit will do all the automation and send you the workshop link. So I've done that. There's both options. So I like that. Um, the main reason I switched over to ConvertKit from MailChimp is because in ConvertKit you have one list of subscribers. One list. So on MailChimp, if you have somebody on list A and they're also on list B, you are paying for two different subscribers even if they have the same email address. And for that reason, I was like, I'm out. This is a mess. <laughs> um, I want one list and to be able to segment these people in different ways depending on what they're interested in. So that is why I made the switch to ConvertKit. They make that super easy. I know MailChimp has made changes since I've left, but again, ConvertKit, that is their main thing. One list with multiple segments um, to organize your subscribers in various ways. Um, another pro is that I have a code for you. So you can get a thousand subscribers for free um, if you use my code and I will just link that for you in the description box if you're interested in trying ConvertKit out. Um, most plans do start um, at a price, so you can get these thousand subscribers for free and try it out with my code. And my last pro for ConvertKit is that you can set up and sell products directly through ConvertKit. Now, I don't do this because I have Squarespace websites, but this to me is a pro. You can function as a business and sell things online directly through your email list. Okay, cons. I'm going to put this as a con. In my opinion, it's become a pro. Um, but when I switched, I was like, Ugh, this is the one thing I don't know about, but we'll see. So ConvertKit is more about just sending a text email and not doing all the designery stuff that Squarespace and MailChimp do with the, the design templates and the layouts. It's really just like, here's a text email. You can add buttons and links. You can add images. Um, but it's really just focused on sending a text email. And what I've realized about this and why I would rather put it in a pro is because this looks so much more realistic. When you get one of those emails that is like totally formatted, has this designer layout, you know it's a marketing email. But so many of my emails get opened and replied to because it looks like I just sent an individual email to that person. Um, and that to me is a pro. So pro or con, however you want to look at that one, um, is up to you. Now there was a couple things that all of them do. So all of these um, platforms, they all have analytics. So you can see how your emails are performing, how they're being opened, what's being clicked. You can check all of that on all of these platforms. They all have automation options, um, whether that's someone signs up for your list and you want to send them a freebie, or you want to set up an email to send in the future, you can do that. And they all, um, let's see, oh yeah. <laughs> they all give you the option to add the subscriber's names. So when you write your emails, instead of just going in with your email, you can say, hello, Catherine, or whatever the person's first name is, it will do that for you. And I really like that part as well. Um, so I know that was a long time of me just talking at you about these email platforms, but hopefully that was helpful. I know I get asked about this a lot. So rather than try to type it all out um, for my clients, I figured I'd just make a video. Here's my crash course in email marketing platforms for you. Um, if you have any other platforms that you use that you would recommend, let us know those in the comments. And if you have any pros and cons, like I said earlier, to add to my list, definitely let me know. Put those in the comments so everybody can see um, I know this isn't like an all-inclusive list. This was just kind of what came to mind for me and what I view as pro and cons as how I've tried out these three platforms. 
If this video was helpful for you, give it a like. If you have any further questions about how to use any of these platforms with your Squarespace website, you can drop those questions below. And maybe that will inspire a future tutorial here on my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.